Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to install Luminar 4 as a plugin for use with Adobe Lightroom. I'm also gonna show you the basics on how to actually use it with Lightroom. Now, once you have Luminar 4 open, go to File, go down to Install Plugins. And then from here, you can actually click on Install next to Lightroom if it's not already installed. And if you have it grayed out like this down here where Adobe Photoshop Elements is, which is actually how I had it when I first launched Luminar 4 and I got into here, it's pretty much saying that it doesn't know where your Adobe Lightroom is at. So just like right here on the bottom on Adobe Photoshop Elements, it says you must install this software first. If it's already installed, but Luminar doesn't find Adobe Lightroom, go ahead and click on Browse under the Lightroom area, which would be right here. You click on that, and then you can actually browse through your computer to actually get to your program files and your Adobe. Depending on whether you're using Mac or PC, it might be in a different folder. But for here, I would go into the Lightroom folder and then I would double click the actual Lightroom icon that launches the app. And that would actually select it. And then now it would be able to install. So once you've installed it, now click Done. Go ahead and close Luminar 4. And if you have Adobe Lightroom open, make sure you close that as well. So now we're gonna edit a photo in Lightroom and we're gonna show you how to actually use the Luminar 4 plugin with Lightroom. So I'm gonna open this with Lightroom. Now, once I'm in Lightroom, let's say I wanna make some adjustments in Lightroom and I'm not gonna go too crazy into editing this photo. I'm just gonna kinda keep it simple and kinda just do a rough edit because I kind of just want to go through it quick. So we import the photo and we go to the develop. Let's say, let's say I want to make just some, some adjustments here. Say I want to kind of change the uh, temperature. Let's say I want to make it a little bit more vibrant. Let's say I want to make a little bit, add a little clarity. And let's say I kind of want to bring down those orange tones a little bit. Let's say we're good like that for now. And now we wanna do the rest in Luminar 4. So you can either have it selected here and click on file and then go to export with preset. And then you can scroll over to Luminar 4 and you would do edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments if you wanna keep these adjustments. You could also right click on the actual image itself and you can go to export and here you'll also see Luminar 4 and the same thing, edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. Now I've been trying to see if I can send a batch of photos over from Lightroom to Luminar 4 so I could do multiple photos at once, but it doesn't seem to actually work. Maybe I'm doing something wrong or maybe it will come in a future update. But at the moment, for me, it seems like you can only do one photo at a time in Lightroom with the Luminar 4 plugin. So let's go ahead and edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. Now it's gonna show you right here that it's actually uploading it to Luminar 4. It will actually open up the software though it is being run as a plugin. So it's still, whatever you do here, once you finalize it, it's still going to work on Lightroom and it'll send over these new adjustments to Lightroom. So. Let's just do something really simple. Let's say we want to do, um, here you have your essentials, your creative, et cetera. Let's do some basic essentials. Let's mess with, uh, let's, say, let's say we want the exposure a little bit brighter. Let's say we want to, uh, let's see, mess with the AI sky enhance and the AI accent. This is kind of like the clarity tool in Lightroom. Let's say we want to add a little structure to it. And let's go to color. Let's say we want to make it even more vibrant than we had in Lightroom. So let's say that's how we want to do that. Let's go into some creative. Let's uh, kind of adjust the skin. We can go to actually that would be under here under portrait. Let's go to AI skin enhancer. And let me zoom in a little to the face. So we can see what we're doing here. The image is processing here and then we can slightly move it. See what that does. Let's go, let's pump it up to about 70. Let's just see how that does it. Now let's turn it off. And you can see definitely it's 
making a difference. Now, 71 might be a little too strong. Let's kick that down to probably, let's say, 58. Okay, let's say we want to work with that. And let's say we want to actually change the sky in the photo. Let's go to the creative. And let's see how this sky works here. So AI sky replacement. Let's change. Let's see, which one can we do? Let's see dramatic sky. So it's processing. That looks pretty epic. Let's say we want, let's see, do we want it to relight a lot or a little? That definitely makes it more natural when you adjust the relight a little bit with the actual sky. And you know what? I'm going to do some advanced settings here. First and foremost, when you're doing a sky touch up, if your background is blurry, you make sure that your sky is also blurry. This will definitely let people know that it's super fake. So you definitely want to do sky defocus and try to match it with whatever the background blur is of your background. So like even that still might not be enough. And okay, well, you're seeing that there's definitely some noticeable edges there. But we can go into, let's say, close gap. Let's see if sliding that makes anything better. So maybe expanding the close gap a little bit. Sky local. Really, right here, you'll kind of just mess around with it. So the defocused background definitely makes it look way more natural. And even that, though, seems a little too dark. Let's see raise that exposure a little bit just make it a little bit brighter and you can even change the sky temperature let's make it a little bit more with the color of this photo so a little bit warmer all right so let's just say we like it like that and you know what let me do let me flip the sky sometimes i like the way that the sky looks flipped so there's that right there or if you flip it it tends to be a little difference and i kind of like these clouds slightly more to be honest so let's go ahead and keep that and all right let's say that's our finalized photo now once you're done with pretty much any adjustments you're doing within the luminar 4 at the top left under file you'll see apply once you click apply now it's going to export that image and it's going to send you back to lightroom so this does take a little bit. Give it a second. By the way, she's wearing Doubt Me Apparel, which is available on the website, doubtme.net. All right, so now we're back in Lightroom, and it's uploading that photo from Luminar 4. Now, when you're back in Lightroom, you're going to be back with your original photo. Whatever you had in Lightroom previous to the Luminar 4 plugin opening, that's what's going to be here. Now, if you want to see your Luminar 4 photo, then you can go to right here where it has your photo one photo selected click that and go to all photographs and now that'll show you this one that you had prior to the luminar 4 plugin and then now the one with the luminar 4 adjustment so um looks pretty pretty decent there's some fringing here a little bit it's a little harsh edges ideally you're going to want to mess with those sliders a little bit more to make that slightly softer so it's not so noticeable on a zoom in but Again, I'm just trying to show you guys quickly how to get it done. So now that we're back in Lightroom, let's say you want to make any more adjustments, you can do all the adjustments you want here. Um, let's just do something just super extreme so you can see. Let's say, you know, we're doing that. Whatever it is you wanted to do, you can do now. And it's just adding on top of whatever Luminar 4 was. But again, it's if you select the photo that came in from Luminar 4. This photo... The original one does not have the Luminar 4 adjustments. So once you've finalized everything that you want, now you can export your photo and finalize it. So I'll just export it. And once you export it, you're good to go. You're done. Let me open up my folder where I actually keep my Lightroom exports. And boom, now we have our finalized photo with stuff that we did in Luminar and Lightroom. So there you guys have it. That's how you use Luminar 4 with Lightroom as a plugin. If you guys have any more questions, please drop a comment below. Please make sure to drop a like on the video and please make sure to subscribe. 
I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.